Welcome to this week's meditation. Thinking further on our themes from the season of creation, and thinking of the idea of space, of sacred space, of liminal space, as it's sometimes called. <clears throat> Something of a lament, perhaps, to begin with. A lament ongoing at the environmental crisis we face, the eruption of violence in Palestine, Gaza, Israel, separation and hatred between people, and closer to home the apparent wanton felling of the tree, the sycamore tree in Sycamore Gap in Hadrian's Wall. Richard Raw suggests that religion has a part to play in realigning, rehealing, reconnecting all things and repositioning us inside the whole universe of things. So we take our usual two deep cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just in the position where we're sitting, sensing our connectedness, closing our eyes or lowering our gaze. Bringing the awareness to the breath. And paying attention to our bodies. Begin with the feet and just consciously move your weight from heel to ball of foot to toes. Hold then move back, heel, ball, toe, and really focus your whole attention on that foot or those feet together. Now do one foot at a time, the heel, the ball of the foot, the toe, and then back again. Do that three times. And then the other foot, heel, ball, toe, and back. Heel, ball and toe, back through the ball and the heel. Now bring your awareness <coughs> from the feet to the lower legs. Really focus your attention there almost directing your breath to that part of the body. You may have a sense of warmth as you direct your attention there. And with that warmth, perhaps some greater relaxation and letting go And from there up to the thighs. Same focused attention. Looking out for any sensations.
and then to the hips. The pelvis. That whole region around the hip girdle. These big joints, the hip joints. Directing your attention, directing your breath. Caring for each part in turn. And aware of any warmth. Any actual letting go. Up through the belly the chest and the chest muscles, the ribs, yeah, you can really breathe into those areas. The shoulders, so often hunched or tense. The neck and the neck muscles. Focused attention, focused breath, sense of warmth. Tracking that attention up into the back of the head, round to the face, the jaw muscles, and then the top of the head. And then the arms, and if you have your forearms or your hands rested in your lap, down to your wrists and hands and fingers. You can just raise, as we raise the balls of the feet, just raise your hands just at the wrist. Raising and lowering each one in turn. And then finally the attention back to the breath. Conscious that you're breathing in through the nose and maybe just holding and then letting go out through the mouth. Coming back to the idea of liminal space, Richard Raw suggests that we often are trapped in what he calls normalcy the way that things are. And maybe there's a very strong tendency for us to want to keep things the way they are. <clears throat> Certainly biological organisms exhibit something called homeostasis, that is trying to keep things balanced, keep things steady. But then this can mean that we just end up problem solving, explaining, and maybe even slipping into dualistic thinking, right and wrong, winners and losers, us and them. And he suggests to get out of this cycle, we have to allow ourselves to be drawn into liminal space, the in-between space. 
Perhaps this is the sacred space. It's where transformation really takes place. Surprisingly, it's sometimes associated with grief or loss of faith. The need for disorganising before reorganising into a new way of seeing and being. A space where genuine newness can begin. He says we must get there often and stay as long as we can by whatever means possible. And maybe even this regular meditation helps us in that quest to find that in-between space. I'm sure many visionaries have inhabited this space and shown the way there. On the division between peoples, Jesus prayed, did he not, that they will be, they will all be one just as you and I are one. As you are in me, Father, and I am in you, and may they be in us. On the environmental crisis and our materialist mindset, we could go all the way back to Socrates for a new way of looking. He said that every wise person instinctively knows that leading a frugal life is good for us. And although he himself lived sparingly, he would often go to the market to look at all the wares on display. And when asked why he did this, he replied, I love to go there and discover how many things I can live perfectly happily without. So with that idea of space, outside of our normal way of being. Stepping out of our normalcy. Let's use the breath again to slow us down. Breathing in an awareness of our wider connectedness. Breathing in conscious that we are sharing the Ruach, the very breath of God, the same air that is breathed by every living thing on the planet. While you breathe in, conscious perhaps even of God's spirit. Energising you. So fill your lungs, fill your body with the divine energy God brings. And those things that you need, that it brings. Breathing in calm. Breathing in balance. Breathing in strength. And while you breathe out, breathing out any impurities, any negative emotions. Breathing out unnecessary anxiety. Breathing out worry. Breathing in calm. And breathing out fear. Softening, relaxing. And 
with an energizing breath. Imagine the week ahead, perhaps. Are there any patterns or rhythms that you want to adopt and develop and establish? A purpose to this week? Some small action for change? Something to connect you with your deeper self, with the divine, with creation. And imagine yourself fulfilling one or more of your purposes and intentions. And let a smile come to your mouth at the thought of that. Finally coming <clears throat> to a few thoughts to take us to silence. Raw suggests that good religion helps to realign, reheal, and reconnect all things that it has a unique and necessary function to lead us into liminal space. But that sadly religion has often been a way of confirming the status quo and maintaining business as usual. Surely you had an example of that with COVID and many churches wanting to get back to how we did things before. But religion should lead us into a sacred space where deconstruction of the old normal can occur. A good minister, a good therapist, he says, will always open up larger vistas for you, which are by definition risky, instead of just sticking to the same old ways. A closing thought from somebody who uses Raw's meditations wrote, Thank you for your meditation on the spirituality of letting go. It really speaks to the stage of life I have been experiencing. I have great compassion for my old way of being and I now celebrate my wholeness as a human and divine being. I feel sad when I see so much suffering in our world. I pray that more people will experience the joy of coming home to themselves. A lovely thought that, coming home to ourselves. And so we move to our silence with some music from Salt of the Sound. overflow of recently released single beyond these walls is where my heart lies as I walk help me to overflow in love for love
And so we come out of our silence and with the second half of overflow to bring us to the end. Tear down these walls we built with our lives that I would walk, that I would overflow to be loved and to love. 